This week, we're learning how God's grace leads us to consider. Today's win is commit to care. Oh, hey, I'm Natalie. And I'm Noah, and thanks for tuning in this week. Today we're making cards. Yes, we are. And we just get to appreciate the people in our lives that are important to us. We get to show that we care about them, you know. We get to be very considerate of everybody else around us. Yeah, yeah, especially those that we, you know, care about. Uh, and, you know, sometimes, you know, even if we were to just write a card for somebody that we don't know super well, you know, that could be a good thing. Yeah, who did you make your card to? You know, I, I wrote it for my, my a friend of mine. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I think you'll like it. It's, I, I actually drew a portrait of him on the front. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Can I see it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, th this is it. This is him. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm speechless, it looks so great. Oh, I know, I know, he's gonna love it. It literally looks exactly like him. I, I know it's hard to believe, but this is him. He, he's actually part dragon, part man. You see, he has a bicep, he has a big muscly arm on him. Oh, that's what that was. Oh, yes, yes, exactly. Okay, I wrote I wrote a card to my grandma because she's my sunshine. Aw, that's so nice. I bet your grandma is a very bright and smiling person. She is. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, sometimes these acts of kindness with uh, making cards for people or whatever it is, you know, it can really show uh, people, you know, our commitment to care for them. Oh, yes, for sure. I know I love getting cards mm -hmm. all of the time. For sure. Well, let's, let's talk a little bit more about that idea of committing to care. So let's break that down. God's grace leads me to consider. To consider means to think about something or someone. Not just think about them, but think about how something may affect them. To consider means to slow down and think about how our words and actions make people around us feel. Whether you are online with people or seeing people in person, being considerate takes a little bit of work, but it's a great way to show God's grace. Wow, I really think I understand that a little bit more now. Yeah, I have a much better understanding of committing to caring for other people. Uh, and I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of that myself and learning a little bit more about that. But I think we need to get our stuff. I think that's a good idea. Are you ready? I'm ready. Whoa. Wow, we made it. We're in, this, we're in the spot. Wait. Where's our stuff? It's in there. It's, it's the ball in a basket. It's a, a basketball. And, uh, wait, wait. There's no way to get in. Oh, man. Huh. I guess we're just going to figure out something else to do. I guess so. We can brainstorm on the way back. Sounds good to me. Ready? Yep, let's do it. Oh, All right, we're back. Yeah. Well, I feel like if I'm going to be committing care, you know, for you as a friend, then we... I, need, I think we need to learn a little bit more about each other, so I think we should play a game about that. I love games. Yes. Have you ever heard of the game Two Truths and a Lie? I have. Yeah. Well, why don't you explain that for us? Two Truths and a Lie is a game where one of us will say two truths and then one lie, and then the other person has to guess which one is the lie. Okay. That sounds good. I think I, think I understand. I think I, I think I have some good ideas ruminating in the old brain. <laughs> All right, are you ready? I think so. Do you want to go first? I'll go first. Okay. I'll go first. All right. So, one, one time, I helped create an idea to start a donut shop. And the donut shop would be like a subway where you get the donut and you sprinkle all your favorite uh, toppings on it. And at the end of the line, you, you know, pay for it like you would a subway sub. That's the first one. Yeah. The second one. When I was younger, you know, like elementary, maybe into middle school a little bit, I was actually a purple belt in judo, and I was the third highest rated uh, student in my dojo. And finally, I actually one time ate an entire octopus. They all sound like lies to me, but, hmm, I think The first one's a lie. That's wrong. The first one's actually true. I did it. I actually uh, helped uh, create a business plan in business school for a donut oh, shop. Oh, interesting. 
Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let me guess again because there's right. only a 50 All right. 50 Sounds good. I have a feeling that. Is there a purple belt in whatever you said? Judo. Judo. I have no idea that's the lie. <laughs> <laughs> and the octopus was a very tiny octopus, so it wasn't all so that impressive. I am terrified of bananas. I once owned a type of flying squirrel as a pet. Oh. And I was once once in a play where I had to roller skate while on the zip line. Right, let's think about this. Let's think about this. Bananas are very scary. They I, are. I could definitely see. I could definitely see why that would be true. So I think that's true. Um, what was the second one? The second one was I owned a type of flying squirrel. Oh, you owned a type a of flying squirrel. I do wear a flying squirrel onesie sometimes. I can see why you would like a flying squirrel as a pet. <laughs> hmm. But I could also see you in a play where you were roller skating down a zip line. Or with a zip line. Mm -hmm. I don't know, something like that. Oof, that's tough. You know what? I bet you didn't have a flying squirrel. I bet you had a real squirrel. No, I had a sugar glider, oh, which is a type of flying yeah, squirrel. Yeah. And his name was Mikey. Oh, wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. Wait, so was the, the third one a lie? The third one was a lie. The third one was a lie. Okay. So, yes, I am okay. terrified of bananas. Ooh, interesting. So, like, it's just the banana itself, or like anything flavored like bananas? I don't mind flavoring of bananas, but like the banana itself is just disgusting. Okay, so if it was like banana in a smoothie, it would be fine. It's okay, okay, good. All right, well, I think that's it. Maybe we're wrapping up the Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh. It's my turn. Oh. Two truths and one lie from Steven. Okay. All right, Steven. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Number one, I own four cats. Number two, Cinderella is my favorite Disney princess. Number three, I didn't think that the ranch soda I drank a couple weeks ago was the, all that bad. Hmm, you know, that ranch soda episode does sound very familiar. I don't know, Cinderella seems like too good of a princess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say uh, it's gotta be the cat one. What do you think, Natalie? The cat one is his lie. Yeah, I think so. Ranch soda just doesn't do that. Although you could like it, I could see that. I'm gonna go with Cinderella. Okay. What is it? What? So, Natalie, you're correct. <sighs> My favorite Disney princess is actually Rapunzel. Oh man! Wow. I thought. I'm out. Oh. Where do you go? I have no idea. Um, yeah. All right. Well, uh, it was good to get to know you guys a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So we can be committing to care for one another in the ways that we like really strange things like octopuses and ranch soda. Now let's learn a little bit more about how to commit to care. Have you ever stopped to think about how other people feel? That's what it means to be considerate. For me, I love it when people think about me, and I'm, maybe you are the same way too, but I remember there was this one time, it was actually just a few weeks ago, where my wife went to this party and she came back and there was all these treats, cookies, cupcakes, all these things there, and she brought me back a cupcake. And it was something I didn't ask her to do it, she didn't tell me she was gonna do it, she just came back and she had a cupcake for me. Like I said, she didn't have to do it, but it made me feel so special that she did. It made me feel, um, it was, it just felt amazing that she thought of me and she brought me home a cupcake. And this is not only nice, but it's what Jesus did and what he, what he asked us to do now. And in Philippians chapter two, it says that we should have the same attitude as Christ Jesus. Verse four says, none of you should look out just for your own good. Each of you should also look out for the good of others. God wants us to put the needs of others above ourselves. When we make decisions, God wants us to think about how these decisions are going to affect other people, not just ourselves. And so when you make those decisions, when you are thinking about uh, getting something or maybe you're going out and there's two cupcakes left on the table and you've got a friend with you, instead of grabbing both cupcakes for yourself, 
maybe you could save one of those for your friends or maybe think about somebody else who maybe wants that cupcake. Sometimes commitment is really hard. For me right now, I have a new baby in our house and my wife is about to go back to work and so we've got to teach this baby how to drink out of a bottle. But she doesn't like drinking out of a bottle. It's not what she's used to. And so I will, there's times where I will spend hours trying to get this baby to drink a bottle and it's frustrating, it's hard. And I think about all the time the commitment that I made to my wife where I told her I would help her. I told her that we would work together to get through this. And there's times where I just wanna give up. There's times where I just wanna say, this isn't easy for me, this is really hard. I don't get to play as many video games or watch as much football as I want to because I'm spending all this time trying to feed this baby a bottle. But when I think about the commitment I made to her and that I promised to help her, it makes me realize that to be considerate means that I have to stick with that commitment. And by sticking with that commitment, it shows her how much I care about her. And so when we take time to consider, we are living like Jesus, but it takes commitment. So today's win is commit to care. Well, I hope you guys learned a little bit more about committing to care. And don't forget to like this video and to comment down below about what your favorite part was. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Hey, I'm Natalie. And I'm Noah. <laughs> Are you okay? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you just go lower and lower and lower. <laughs>